in the previous tutorial we have learned how to create this isometric drawing if you want to learn to create this isometric drawing link to the previous tutorial is given in the description in this tutorial we will give dimensions to this drawing at first click on annotation click here and select annotate to dimension style then click on dimension then take your cursor on the line make ortho off and place the dimension now it is not properly visible to make it properly visible press escape and increase the scale from here we'll take it 1 as to 10 or we will take it 1 as to 16 then we will make some settings to remove these extra zeros click on annotation dimension style modify then select primary units and here in the precision select single zero then click on text and from here select above iso standard then in fit click here draw dim line between extension line ok close now it is properly visible now we will give other dimensions is 50 25 32 32 again click on dimension give the first point give the second point give the location again click the first point give the second point Drag the point to track in angle. Click here and select tracking setting. Give the increment angle of 30 and tick here track using all polar angles. As we have created the isometric drawing in the multiples of 30 degree angle, therefore, here we are giving the value of 30. Then click on OK. Now you can track this point. And here is the intersection point. Click there, then take your cursor up and click there. Then next is this 32. Select the first point. Then we need the intersection of these two lines. Just drag this end point and drag this end point. Here is the intersection point. Click there and take your cursor again same way here drag this point and drag this point take your cursor down once it intersect click there and give the second point and click inside then press escape then we need to make these dimensions vertical for that click on annotate Click on dimensions and select oblique. Then select all the dimensions. Now we want to make it vertical. The angle of vertical angle will be 90 degree. Click enter and give the oblique angle of 90 and press enter. So all the dimensions will be aligned vertically. To position it properly, click on it. Then Click on this grip and take your cursor down and click there. Escape. Click on this center line. Click on this grip and reduce the length of this center line. Escape. Now this center line are not properly visible. To make them properly visible, give the LTS command, enter and reduce the line type scale. As we have used annotative dimension style and from here we have changed the scale that changing of scale have affected the center line LT scale. Therefore reduce the scale to 1 or we will reduce it further enter and make it 0.25 enter. Now center lines are properly visible. Then next dimensions will be this one 50, 9, 12, 16, 25. Again click on dimension. Click on the line, take your cursor down and click there. Again for 9, click on this line, 
take your cursor inside and click there and for this take this end point this end point take your cursor inside click there and for this again click this end point and track the point click the intersection point take your cursor inside and click there then next is this 12 diameter for that select this intersection point and this intersection point take your cursor above and click there escape to display dimensions in different color we will create one layer with different color click on layer properties click on new layer give the name dim click here and change the color we'll take green one okay then close it then select all the dimensions and change their layer to dim and escape then again we will have to align this dimension or this 50 will be vertical for that click on annotate click on dimensions click on oblique select this 50 enter give the oblique angle of 90 enter again this 9 16 and 12 will be aligned with this line the angle of this line is 150 from this horizontal 180 it is at 30 degree therefore from x axis it will be 150 degree click on dimension oblique select these three dimensions enter give the oblique angle of 150 degree enter then this 25 will be aligned with this line this line is at an angle of 30 degree click on dimensions oblique select this dimension enter give the oblique angle of 30 enter then next is this 9 30 to 9 28 12 and 12 at first change the layer to dimension click here and click on dim click on dimension give the first point click this midpoint click this midpoint and give the same location same way here click the midpoint this intersection point and click there only click at that position then here again take this end point and this end point and click on the end point then for this 12 take this midpoint track the point and click there and click on it then same way here track this point click the intersection point track this point and click here again track this point and click here then here distance is required for that again click on this end point then track this midpoint and click inside then oblique these dimensions escape now this 28 will be oblique with this angle of 30 degree click on dimension oblique select this 28 enter give the oblique angle of 30 degree we can take it further inside click on it click this grip and take it inside and click at empty space escape then here also these lines to be matched with these lines for that again click on oblique select all the three dimensions enter then give the oblique angle now here we don't know the oblique angle of this line you can also define oblique angle by clicking to points of the line we want this angle to be aligned with this line therefore we will take this end point and this end point to define the angle here those lines are aligned with this line then this radius 9 for that we will use the leader click on home click here and click here and select annotate to dimension style for leader click here click on this midpoint of this arc take your cursor away click there and type r capital r 9 click outside
then select this and change the layer to dim escape then you can align this dimension click on it select this grip take it above click there escape here all the dimension has been given that's all thanks for watching we will stop here